Cancer treatments have grown by leaps and bounds in the last few years. In a story you'll only see on 6 News, Brian Mastry talks with a doctor who believes in the world of cancer therapies. We only scratched the surface. I feel fine. I've got good energy. But it wasn't always that way. Three years ago, Alan Moses braced for the worst. I was down to 107. Yeah, I thought it was all over. No appetite, no energy, exhausted. He also had a crisis of confidence thinking about his rare cancer diagnosis and the treatment options. I had to kind of um, walk him through, you know, that, that he can do this, that I believed he can do this despite his lung conditions, despite his history, uh, despite his, you know, his hearing impairment, that we can find a way, you know, and that this is the right therapy for him and it matches the risk of his disease. This summer at Nebraska Medicine, Alan Moses became the first person in the world to get the commercial form of this CAR T-cell therapy for mantle cell lymphoma. These are his own cells, re-engineered, and infused back into him to target the cancer. This is how Dr. Lunning explains how it works. It's like infantry in the Army. Your immune system, it's the infantry. What we're doing is we're taking the infantry, we're investing in them, and we're sending them to Army Ranger School to come back as elite fighters, elite fighters against their cancer. Because the therapy is so powerful and takes aim at the immune system, the good and bad parts, Alan Moses needed to be monitored by the medical team on campus for a few weeks. He walked these halls at the Buffett Cancer Center to keep his mind from racing. 13 laps is a mile. I walked 40 miles in 10 days. His wife Molly brought a whiteboard and marker to help communicate. The doctor wears a see-through mask for lip reading. That's because Alan hasn't been able to hear since 1991. For the doctors, this patient represents a bigger picture. Equity of access, and even if he has a sensory impairment, um, we can work around that. We have to strive to find different ways to communicate effectively, efficiently, and to deliver this product, this technology, this life-saving technology to everybody. Alan Moses has taken his walking, even running now, back to his home in Des Moines. Doctors told him last month his cancer is in remission. On your side, in Omaha, Brian Mastry, 6 News. Love that finish there. Fantastic to hear he's in remission. Now, Nebraska Medicine currently has 191 clinical trials underway.